Do you believe in miracles? Babe, can you see if you can hear my voice? Greetings. Salutations. Halitosis. Okay, get me off of that. You know, I'm, I got that anxiety. That's the only thing I got anxiety about. Hearing my freaking voice. That's a lie. Wow, it's magic, you know. If I did, we did, you did. You know what that means? Shut up. No, it don't. It means if I dip, you dip, we dip. How the hell do you get to the, um, what am I looking for? Where's resurgence? In here? Yeah. I don't see no damage. Oh, I need some glasses. I don't want no... Yeah, I, whatever. Whatever. I guess I'm macking. I guess I'm never lacking. Your balls are sagging. And your tails are wagging. Y'all niggas is animals. Y'all crusty. Y'all belong in the zoo. I'm always sick because I got the swag flu. Ooh. If I like what I got, I always buy two. These niggas broke, that's why they always rude. Drinking that coffee again. Oh. You know they put uh illicit substances in you. You know what I'm saying? They put something in here. So you keep coming back, because there's no way they're going to put out something to make you hyper, and they don't got nothing in there. Holding for deployment. That's where they really smuggle in that coke. Nerd. I don't even know what I'm talking about, so that's how I know that shit works. They got me hooked. They got a customer. Find it, wean it, wean it. Jessica told me people was walking out of Walmart with uh, flat screen TVs. You said, why? Why not? <laughs> Preparation is done. Now you deploy to the war zone. Martin with Grandpa. 
and I was just thinking, like, I mean, I don't know if it's like a New York thing. Yo, what's up, drunk? How you been? But it's like everything that they be saying, like they swag and shit. Like, I used to be calling these fucking elementary school. Like I used to do that thing. You know how them pimps be walking with that, uh, with that. It was like your leg broken. Yeah, that's how I was walking. But then I was like, yo, if I keep walking like this, I'm gonna be stuck like this, nigga. So I stopped doing it. And I used to interview the bad kids in class. I was like, so why are you bad? And he was like, I don't know. Niggas be shitting their jaws for no reason. Cause they bad. Oh, hell no. Well done. How how far was the um shit 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 the Super Bowl? This game's fun as hell. Oh hell no. Fortnite got played out. I ain't no child. That shit got too many coming. Wow, where my squad at? Go get it back. I guess I should have just stayed with the squad in the beginning. Junk, when you gonna get a um a system so we can get on this game? Cause Junk getting that PlayStation VR too. The only reason why I don't want that is like I saw the things for the hands, and it's just like if I feel like I'm stuck in a horror game. I want to feel like I can get the hell out. Like I want. Oh my god. I'm so done. Oh. Every moments like these. Cause back then we had this game. It was called Blood Rain. It was about this va You know what I'm talking about? Blood Rain. It was like a girl that's half vampire, half human. And it was in Louisiana. That shit scared me because everybody was a ghoul, nigga. Them niggas was ghouls. And then it's like, even though she was trying to help the people from like the zombies and the vampires, she would go to like the church. Like there's a scene where there's like a church and there's water. And if you hop in the water, like it's holy water. Any important oh, updates from Note exactly. to Self? What the hell is that? Yeah, that's the game. That game scared the hell out of me. Oh, um, any updates? Well, Grandpa, Grandpa about to kick the bucket. Niggas is threatening, but being say don't talk about it. But it's the same crazy niggas from last year, and I'm tired of being harassed. Shout out to the Second Amendment. Other than that, I don't think so. Shit. Tell me about you, drunk, because I ain't talked to you in a minute. Shit, I thought he was a goner, too. I'm not going to lie, either. I was like, damn, I was holding his hand. It was getting sweaty and shit. I was like, damn. But it's getting there. Oh my gosh, drunk. <laughs> you can say that. More like, I don't know if I should be talking shit on here. Yeah, I guess it don't matter, because who the fuck gonna watch a, a screen, a stream? I don't know. But, um, remember I told you that weird nurse lady and uh, my uncle working together and shit? Them niggas, well, he bothering me. He be a mad disrespectful. It's like, I could be angry, and I could be a bitch, but I don't got time for that shit no more. I don't feel like it. But I just know hell gonna break me.
said stay to yourself. What happened to that lady you was last talking to that when y'all stopped talking? You don't keep up with her no more? Enemy dropping into the AO. Basically, but I think I just I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm not even gonna mention that shit. Shit. I was gonna be like, um, they can like ask about him. Maybe like a month after he passed, I'm like, oh, we gone. Only 25 left. I don't know. Keep That's kind of fucked up, though. Less than 25, we're still standing. The enemy took that one, but we will be back to Damn, finish Joe, the job. Damn, Joe's a player. He's a player and a pimp. Wow, I'm the only one who got over. any kills. Yeah, the, the lady that got the kid. Whatever. They only want to play with me. Oh, this is an option of unavailable. Why? Why that shit locked up? What? You didn't tell me that? You inflated her ego. Everyone has an ego waffle. That is crazy though. I thought like she had a daughter though. Who had a daughter? And I remember a girl you was talking to that wanted to go to an art museum. I worked at an art museum. I know that's right. People got you think you're weird, but really everybody else is weird. I'm kind of checked out. This is too much crazy shit going on. Like, I talked about that on the podcast about, like, I know Bean Time me talking about that shit, but I'm, this is crazy, nigga. Oh, like, how that train area. fucking crashed. Yo, it's practice. still crazy. We will be deploying soon. Niggas is nuked. Everything's starting to look like that Fallout game. And it's crazy because, like, ain't the people in Fallout, wasn't it, like, it was California Republic and the, what, Mongols or something like that? Whatever them niggas is. Fuck that. L'Oreal well, is the one over. who wanted to go to the art museum. The I can't, I thought about the products. First. Oh, no. The art museum, I stopped talking to her, too. She giving it up. So I had to dip. I know that's right. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot how that shit goes. If you dip, I dip, we dip. Speaking about dip, we got some uh, Doritos, um, nacho cheese dip that you heat up and it's spicy. But B and ate all them um, cheap ass nachos up. I was gonna change my mind. I was just not in the mood. Yeah, they stink. That's why I was mad. You was eating them, and I wasn't eating none. That's the worst when something sound nasty. I mean, smell nasty, but you want to eat it. But somebody else eating it. It's like when somebody eating a block of cheese and that good cheese. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now I don't know what the hell I'm gonna put on. Use that shit for. That shit happened in slow motion. Damn, I got jumped. Every time you, every time say, oh, every time you say bean, I want some bean dip and chili cheese Cheeto. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Should I make? Breakfast burritos or chicken tenders and mac and cheese for dinner. What you think, Dean? Some don't sit right about breakfast burritos unless you got mad hot sauce on it. Yeah, chicken tenders. What the fuck? Make that mac and cheese and chicken tenders. Squad mates back on station. Good work. Mm. That's what we need to go get. When we go get that cat food. And we need to hook up that air fryer. But why is it so big though? Because it's more than just an air fryer. It's like an air fryer and a toaster oven. It's a fancy one. Breakfast burritos is soft, tortillas, sausage patties, smashed up tater tots, eggs, and dupe mayonnaise. I don't know. I don't know what turned me off of that. I think it's the eggs. I don't know. I need hot sauce and ketchup. What the fuck am I even doing? Gadget's yeah, holding in. But there's gotta be something wrong with them banquet meals. Like, them shits is too good. Swiss cheese. Sharp cheddar is my favorite cheese, and then mozzarella. What's wrong with ketchup? I, and I'm talking about the ketchup. Okay, we put the ketchup in the refrigerator now. Okay, so I won't hear that. Your team made it to the same thing. Hostile UAV overhead. What the fuck? Banquet turkey pot pies put a nigga to sleep. Their turkey is good in general. Like, oh my god, like they have like a whole turkey meal. They got like the stuffing, but that shit always tastes gummy. It's a little bit off. But other than that, it's like four fucking yeah, they give you four. It's like four it's not even stuffing. But they give you a lot though. They give you mashed potatoes. They give you turkey. The shit got gravy. Yeah, them peas is busting. And I don't eat peas like that. Ketchup gross. I can't do it unless it's on fire. Shit, ketchup go on grits? What's wrong with that? We have reinforcements inbound. Catch up on grit, stop playing. Now that shit real shit. That's real nigga shit. What's nasty is when people be putting sugar in the grits, but I won't lie. I always try something nasty one time, no homo. That shit pretty busting. What you think about them sugar on the grits? That thing change it all up. Make it porridge. But I didn't want went to Ukraine this morning to give them another 500 million. Wow. Where are they getting this money from? Uh, I saw something. <laughs> Your squad mate is redeploying. Well what? done. Start paying for the pension. Who's pension? We ain't paying for that shit. The fuck? Oh, okay. Fuck around and find out. That's why you're not going to get voted in again. Sugar's for cream of wheat and oatmeal. Yo, you know that cream of wheat that got the black guy on it? I swear it made all my shit so I was solidifying inside of me. And when I had the poop, like, it was just like passing a brick. And now I don't fuck with cream of wheat no more. But I got a variety of 
why people don't fuck with cream of wheat like that. Cause this shit make you, it's like it's eating cement, but it's tasty. But it make, <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat a stool softener when I eat that shit. Oh, that's nigga Uncle Ben. Oh, he made the rice too. I heard niggas be growing um like magic mushrooms off that Uncle Ben shit. Like you just wet up the bag and, and just put it somewhere in the dark. You be hot as fuck. What the fuck? Enemy soldier in cover. said we about to be paying Ukraine's pension. But ain't they be trying to take um, social security from us station. though? That's what they trying to say. I be damned. Shit. Where the fuck are we? I hate being trapped in with strangers. Your team is in the safe zone. How does that snapshot grenade work? Look at this thing. If they took Uncle Ben's face off, though, because they said it's racist. Oh, they did. They got rid of Uncle Ben, too. But now nobody buy that shit no more. Because it's just like, who the fuck is Pearl Milling Company? They could at least kept her body on there. And we'd know. Or is that? Who am I thinking about? Who the other two? What's that lady who, the other lady, Miss Butters, what, yeah. She's thinking the snicker. Mrs. Butters. I forgot how to fly this shit. Let me get out. I ain't even gonna play these niggas like that. I get everybody killed up. But, um, I don't know if you agree with me or not, Drunk, but do you think Neil deGrasse Tyson is a plant? A CIA plant? Because every time people talk about, um, aliens and shit, like, this nigga be like, ain't no way. Ain't no way, ain't no way, nigga. In this day and age, it ain't no never say never. All them niggas jump down. We have an ammo box here. Secure the Locations are marked on your My team ain't got no fake. Who put in that work though? How I check my stats? Where everybody else shit at? I don't think. Of course he a plant, motherfucker ain't no real scientist. Ooh, talk your shit. He probably beat your ass if you say that shit. I would never let Bill deGrasse Tyson beat my ass, but he looked like he beat your ass. He like he beat women. Cause like when you be looking at his interviews and shit, and niggas be like talking to that nigga, he be mad disrespectful. Like he was putting his hand all in that interviewer's face talking about, wait, wait, wait. I hate that shit, that shit made cringe out, nigga. Like, oh lord. How you fight this shit? Fire sales over. Good I'm God. Did y'all hear about them balloons they've been shooting down? Yup. And they shot at um, one of them like in the coast over here, South Carolina. And I was hoping and praying that they wouldn't have shot that shit over here. And then next day I know I got a news alert, literally. I was like, oh, hell no. The uh -oh. dropping into the area. Watch the sky. What? Oh, too much shit going on. Drop that plane on that ass. Fuck. Okay. He got caught juggling women or something like that. Allegedly. But he's a plant, so nothing happened. I don't know, bro. 
I think something in those balloons though. And then what China say? They said they ain't had nothing to do with them balloons, or they said like, um, we don't care. I think they said that shit. I'm gonna just say they don't give a fuck. So what y'all think if you had to bet money, alien invasion or zombie apocalypse? You mean like what will come first? I can't play too much cod shit. Fuck my anxiety. Uh, it gives me like you know uh, shell shock. Cause I'd be like, I don't know, that shit be making me jump, and I'd be hearing the rings in my ears for a while. So that's why I don't really be playing with the headphones. But to answer the question, what you said, Bean? Uh, alien invasion. Bean says alien invasion. To me, I think if you want to be technical, I think it'll be like a zombie apocalypse. Cause like if they got all that that radioactive shit on trains and they crashing it, people, I don't think they necessarily gonna die. But if they're strong enough and like they're hungry enough, cause apparently there's like food shortages and shit like that. That's a technical zombie. Like, niggas is falling apart from radiation and they hungry as fuck. That's a zombie. So I think it's a zombie apocalypse. Not in the sense they're reanimated from the dead, but, like, they cannibals. The and they look fucked up. Warm up while you can. We will deploy soon. What you think, drunk? And I was trying to tell my uncle that shit. I was just like, so, like, like, what the hell Ronald Reagan say? That nigga say, if we had aliens coming up in this motherfucker, I bet everybody get along in this bitch. So, I tried to tell my uncle that, and he was just like, ain't no being friends with no white people. I was like, okay. Now, if the white people got the guns, <laughs> Enemy dropping into the who, who, who gonna be up? Like, what, what you gonna do? Time to see what you have learned. Drunk said, ask Bean what be what would be scarier. Aliens coming down looking like humans or aliens coming down look like regular aliens. I think aliens for sure. Why the hell do you think aliens though? They don't scare in now, but like aliens look like aliens scary. Five seconds to the release point! Aliens that look like humans already here. Those are reptilians, dude. To redeploy fallen teammates. Yeah, that is scary. So I guess aliens come. I would say aliens coming down looking like people. Mm -hmm. Like you can't even talk shit about them. They already shooting shit down, talking about their balloons. Them could have been UFOs. I mean, maybe it's all just a plant so everybody can get along. I don't know. They said Roswell, New Mexico stuff was balloons too. And I heard like, um, they tried to send balloons over here during World War II, Japan. Fuck that balloon shit, nigga. Requesting counter UAV. I like Dodging little smartphones they got. Me they might as well talk about what the fuck going on in Area 51. But I think like if them aliens come down, they looking like us, and you know how we be talking shit about people, shit. That nigga's gonna be like, what the fuck you said? And put your ass on a list. There's too much shit going on. They're saying China could send over an MP EMP that would knock out the electricity grid through the balloon. But how big would that M EMP have to be, though? And then the fact that it was flying over like nuclear shit, like yo. Yep, I thought it would be like a peaceful year, honestly. I saw somebody talking about they weren't trying Hostiles to shit, dropping into the area. Watch the sky. 
What? I heard someone say they were trying to pick up like radio signals. Like flying over military bases trying to pick up radio signals. Man, fuck all the niggas. I don't know, a part of me want peace. But at the same time, like if niggas is fucking around like that, just blow them niggas up. That's how the fuck I feel. No racial, no nothing like that. It's just, uh, fuck that. Just go ahead and blow it up. Be done with the shit. But let me not say nothing, cause like they might be spying. I've been feeling like that for a while too. But it's like, I went through a whole phase where like I wanted to be like a doomsday prepper and then now I'm kind of feeling like I waited too long. Your team has so what the, the hell can I do? Now I'm just thinking like, fuck it, let's just rob niggas. If that shit pop off, I might get shot though. It's just like, why worry about that shit? I mean, I'm worried, but it's like, I really hope it don't come to nukes. No matter what, even if it's the aliens dropping the nukes and shit, like, and it, to me, it don't make no sense. Cause if you're trying to get some like land and shit like that, why would you nuclear fuck up the land that you want? It don't make no sense. And that's why I don't get what's going on in Europe right now. Man, as soon as they dropped that balloon in the water, like I went to the store, not just for the water, but water was on the list. And like, your squad mates back on station. There was still water on the shelf. And then the people in Ohio talking about, um, like they were saying the drinking water is safe, but then now people breaking out and rapping and shit. So I had some old cases of water from two years ago. I popped one open, I drank it. It tastes like shit. Damn. The, the bottle started breaking down. That's scary as hell. Cause I remember we used to keep waters in the um in the car. And I know that shit breaking down from the heat. But I'd be too scared to drink that shit. I wouldn't even get that to my cat. Cover your dog cat to restore your honor. Internet told me bottled water don't expire, but I swear that shit I the, had did. The water itself doesn't expire, it's the bottle. Like, this water is gonna be fine, but like the bottle is starting like leaching into the water. The technically the water is expired. Well, yeah, now it's fucked up. But... <laughs> Wrinkly ass bottle. Yeah, don't drink that shit. Yeah, you get that, that fucking beat <laughs> But I be feeling so bad, like, when I get some good plastic, though, like, some good, nice, hard water bottles, because I be like, this shit ain't never gonna break down in the landfill, ever. Some things I be heating up food in the microwave, and I be like, this shit is gonna be on the earth for a thousand years. And I be trying to, um, recycle. You have so I don't know. Drunk said, tell me that shit tastes so bad, it took two days to get that taste out my mouth. Damn! Gas is in Fuck that! Positive ID on the bounty targets. Eliminate them. Hostile UAV in this sector. I was drinking straight hot sauce trying to get that taste Hostile out my UAV mouth. Overhead. When y'all gonna get that Texas Pete though? Your team made it to the safe zone. Primary objective complete. Now I'm hungry talking eliminated. about food. Breakfast sausage though. It what a stupid thing. There are 24 enemies active. It Keep literally felt like the water coated the inside my mouth. You know, I've been thinking something too. I think like um, they're putting shit in the water, in the water bottles. 
Like, who says they wouldn't? Why not? They could have started there. I like mineral water. Spring water good, too. I like the water that tastes like dirt. Because it feel like it's good for you. Man, this coffee got me happy all of a sudden. Y'all buy purified water or spring water? What we be getting? Ice Mountain. They used to have something called Crystal Gazer. Gazer. Yeah, that dog chew water, but they be drinking a lot of it in California. Though. I like mineral mineral water though. I like things that taste like dirt. My teammate's name is Joe Biden. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. And I'm thinking like, is that um those breeder filters? Are they really doing anything? The window is about to close. Oh. My Wi-Fi just went up fifteen dollars a month. Shit getting wicked around this motherfucker. How much do you pay in general? That's my biggest fear. Cause I think um, I'm gonna drop all the cable. And just have internet, but like get the fastest internet they got. Like that business nigga internet. Fire sales so when done. I be streaming Prices shit, are back to normal. it just flow. And Bean ain't got no excuse why he can't stream no damn game. You're. Eighty-four dollars a month for Wi-Fi. At the apartment, I think it was included, right? Or is this five dollars a month? The internet was pretty fast. You had yours on 5G. You ain't never told me we had 5G, nigga. So I had. It. I got. It. Five G even real. Do you believe in miracles? I do like cable though. Bean was on the five G and he had you on the two G. Man, I remember when my phone was talking about you need to upgrade your chip because it was going to be, uh, like, they, there's no such thing as 3G no more after that. Yeah. That shit had me shook. Oh, no, they said there's not going to be no LTE. I don't even know what LTE is, nigga. Let's switch it up. Yeah, he had the 5G all to himself, but that radiation probably got your ass, nigga. You getting all that frequency. I wouldn't mind no dial-up. And then we had, um, for Christmas, we got these pillows that got feathers in that motherfucker. I don't know if it's real feathers or not. But it smell like death. Like, once you start sweating on them damn feathers. I got a 5G phone, but I only use LTE. That 5G killed my battery too fast. That AOL. You remember AOL Online? I was talking to some strangers on that motherfucker. I shouldn't have been doing that. But yeah, that 5G do kill the battery. They won't even let me use, I don't even know. I don't think, oh no, 
I got LTE on here. I don't know why they lie, man. Pet cemetery ass pillow. I know that's right. I'm thinking it's weather, uh, owl feathers. I don't know why I said weather feathers. I want to know what bird up in that motherfucker. And then how they be making fake feathers? Like how you be buying feathers out the store? Like how the hell they be doing that? The stray cats, I ain't seen them niggas. When they, they saw I wasn't feeding them no more and I was pissed because they done gave me them fleas, they stopped coming around. I see one every once in a while. I see like two. But, um. Princess, like, hang out in the yeah, that black cat be in the backyard and then like one of the cats that talks a lot be in the front yard. But they, they be draining my, um, my uh, security camera battery. Do I miss them? I won't lie, I do. But I, I also like not getting bit. Especially if you know fleas can give you um, the plague and shit. Who if I get in plague in this day and age? That's fucking ridiculous. Check your gear and weapons. We go soon. He's still at home. Like the nurses come in and out, and then there's a lady that's supposed to come in there and wash him. But Grandpa was like, I don't want her seeing my dick. <laughs> so he, he ain't let her do nothing. Then I'd be changing grandpa diaper and he'd be like, watch out for my balls. Enemy soldier incoming. But if you think about balls though, Practice is over. I know it's getting Learn graphic and gross, now. but it's like, it's crazy to think. We all came out of somebody's balls. Like them balls birthed a generation. So treat them with care when you wiping the doodle off of them. Take care of your balls, dude. Get ready to jump, five seconds. You already put all that 5G radiation on there. He's a real one. He on his way out. He still don't want nobody to see his dick. I know that's right. <laughs> I'm going to catch. Get to the safe zone. So do you know he's on his way out, like what he be saying about, well, he be scared, like, and then he goes like, um, I thought I had more time, and he be crying about it, but sometimes he's like, why won't he take me, he talking about God, he like, why won't I just die already, and that shit is scary, and then he be seeing things, and then like, I told you he blind, but then he saw his hand. Like, he's starting to see his hand now. And I'm just like, shit. And sometimes I be thinking he looking at me, so it's weird. Like, it's scary. Not weird, just scary. And then he be looking in the corners in the room and shit. I be like, Lord. And then he said, like, um, somebody tapped him on the shoulder. And he thought it was me. He was like, oh, we must have some ghosts in here. I was like, oh, Lord. We probably do got ghosts in here with all them damn tarot card shits I was doing. Got him. That's how my Uncle Jack was when he was on his way out. Yeah, that shit is scary. Damn, that's how I want to go out. And they got like, like I have to give Grandpa morphine and like them Ativans and shit. And that should be having him like sp sprung, like strung out. Like I swear, like, cause Grandpa used to like uh, operate trains. So I swear he was calling out like train numbers. He said like calling in seven three five two five. I was like, what the fuck? 
Damn dog, I just realized you ain't did tar tarot in years. Yeah, I know, right? I be thinking about it, but I'm just so scared the fleas is gonna come back. I was like, Lord, cause the last time I tried to do that, the fleas came out and I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God, yo. Target area marked. You cleared hot. This is Phoenix 23, visual on the target, strike inbound. That's how I wanted the obituaries though, like have like uh, like him, a picture of him like on the train. I don't know, something corny. But Flea's gotta do with tarot. I don't know, I don't know if it's a sin. That's my thing. Cause you remember I got, the, all the Flea's was coming after my ass. And then I thought I had it, um, I thought I had them gone. And then like I pull out that damn tarot Hard, and the next thing I know, a flea hopped off my arm, and I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Fuck that. Strongholds located. Targets are marked under attack. But it just got me thinking, like, I don't know, like, maybe you can do tarot and still have, like, a relationship with God, but it's like, if you believe... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, why am I asking the cards what's, what the fuck is gonna happen when I could just be like, Lord, please don't let this shit happen right now. But it's always nice to have like a heads up. And it'll be annoying the niggas that be getting on the um, videos. Them niggas be like, um, when am I gonna get married? And shit like that. Bitch, I don't know. And niggas be capping. I don't want to cap. A lot of tarot readers I know believe in God. Yeah. I don't know. I just be reading shit and they be talking about, oh, fortune teller, burn them niggas at the stake and shit. I be like, God damn. Ooh, lucky bastard. Now they fight. Look, 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 and a lot of things in like Revelation is coming true. But they've been saying that forever though. Like even that nigga Notre Dame, it's like that nigga predicted a lot of shit that's going on. But it's like I don't wanna put my faith in like the tarot cards totally. Cause at any moment like God can switch that shit around. But I will say like Remember, I kept on pulling out like death and judgment and um, justice over and over and over. And I was just like, what the fuck? And I was getting that damn tower card. And I didn't want to believe that shit. And then that shit ended up happening. And then I, I had asked about like, what's going to happen with this damn court case? And I think that shit said I was going to lose. Ooh. Yeah, me too. It just feels, it feels like something bad is going to happen. Some shit about to, sh some, some shit is about to shake. I mean, but what can we do? Like, the only thing you can do is be, uh, get right with God, that's it. Because if you're going to die, you need to figure out what the hell is going to happen on the next phase. So if I focus on where the hell my soul going to, I ain't worried about this spiritual life. I mean, this uh, physical life. Fuck that. Like, this just phase number one. I don't even know if this is phase nine, 9,001. This could be my third reincarnation. I don't fucking know. Like, all I can do is, like, be a good person. Can't do nothing but grab popcorn and get ready for a shit show. I know that's right. But we kind of worried about a bomb and then, like, shit, nigga. You've got a loadout drop inbound. <laughs> you need to be worried about these people. People is the problem. I don't even fear death. I fear dying not accomplishing whatever I'm here to do. And I think that's why um, 
grandpa's having a hard time transitioning because he just is like I don't have enough time like, I thought I had enough Get time to the new safe zone. and he would always like push it like I don't know how to explain he would just push it for um another day he'd be like we could always do that later like nigga you don't know how long you got to do it today. Or even worse, never figuring out what I came here to do. Yeah, you say that a lot, bro. That shit is scary. But I feel like what I'm here to do is like, I, I've been searching for the answer, but it's just like if you stop searching and just go with the flow, like eventually like the answer comes to you. Yeah, I thought about that. But the problem is, is like he can't really talk. Yeah. Because sometimes like he's lucid, but like when he is lucid, it sounds like he don't, he can't really breathe that well. He said he did want to do some kind of podcast thing or write down his life in a book. So I see what I can do. But like sometimes when he be talking about stuff or he want to tell me something, like I hit the little voice message, the, not voice message, it was a voice memo, voice recorder, and I be trying to get little things that he's saying to me. And that make me like kind of sad because it's like, you know, when you have to cancel people's phones when they pass away and he got a voicemail. So that has his voice on it. So it's like, if I want to hear his voice again, like I always yeah, call the phone. I heard about Ball people doing that shit. Yeah. But that's just like one of the issues I have with his son though. It's just like, cause grandpa, I guess he left the, like my, my uncle's family, like he left his mom, like they got divorced. And like, my uncle's Contact crazy as fuck. Watch the skies. Yeah. Oh, I have that recorded. I did ask just saw a movie where there was a girl calling her dead boyfriend a voicemail. Yeah. Enough training. Now we face the enemy for real. Do you remember that movie called, I think it was called Her, and it had Joaquin Phoenix in it? That movie was, yeah, the AI boyfriend, girlfriend shit. The AI bitch was a hoe. She was just like, yo, I'm just a program, man. I don't really love you like that. That shit was sad. Yeah, grandma was a second wife. And niggas is soft. My uncle was talking about hot shit, though. That nigga was talking about, oh, your grandma put that young pussy on him and he left his whole family. I'm like, damn. That's fucked up. And grandpa's like, um... <laughs> grandpa be saying shit like, I wish I had never left them, but I didn't know because like his dad left him when he was little. And then his mom left him when he was little. So they both got that, I guess, generational curse going on. Like they have some depression and shit. Enemy dropping into the AO. But it's like, I can't carry that. That's what Grandpa said. He was just like, you think I'm dying from age or some shit? He said some shit like that. I'm like, nigga. Because he said he was getting mad pussy. He said when he was in Korea, they had them condoms. He was in Japan, they had them condoms. Sometimes he said he ain't use no condoms. I probably well, got some uh, cousins in Asia right now. Yeah, he is salty. And that's why I don't feel like all that shit. Cause I know like if he come to the funeral, he gonna be bringing that salty ass attitude over there. I'm gonna snap on that ass. 
And the only reason why I called him, like, he was ignoring Grandpa. But, like, the only reason why I called, because it's just like, yo, like, your dad's dying. Do you want to fucking talk to your dad before, like, he kicks the bucket? This nigga started saying I was lying about all the shit that I was talking about last summer with that crazy bitch. And I was like, really? You got you got all the evidence, and then you're going to call me a liar. And then he asked if I had a job. I was like, bitch, taking care of your dad is my job, bitch. That shit had me pissed. So when Grandpa passed, he basically gonna try to get the house and shit. Yeah, but we already fixed that shit. <laughs> like that, there's nothing to get. It's not like Grandpa ball. And then like he was saying, he don't want nothing out the will or whatever. But then before that, he was just like, um... Our bounty targets are down. Well done. What that nigga say? He said, uh... Damn, what the fuck? He said, um... He said, I don't want nothing. But then he mentioned something like, I don't know what my dad had in the will and shit. Nigga, you don't gotta worry about what the fuck he got in there. Ain't shit for you. Even Grandpa said that shit. You got gas moving in. And I Ben was asking, like, when I was overhead. back in the apartment, I was like, yo, can you, uh, come and help? He was like, well, I don't know how to take care of him and shit. And now he asking um, Grandpa, like, oh, do you need me to come down and help? Nigga, what the fuck? We don't need your help. That's the thing. You gonna wait till somebody about to kick the bucket and be like, can I help? Nigga, the fuck? Be advised. You know how is black vehicle. people is, though. Even if it's nothing to get motherfuckers going to... Scrape the back, the bottom of the pot. Yeah. Oh well. And it was crazy. It's like I ain't seen my mom in years, and then like a letter came to the house, and that shit said um, like her policy, like she's in, like she gets life insurance from grandpa, but like the policy uh expires on the 26th, I think, because she ain't making no payments on that shit. So I was like, oh, I hope I hope Grandpa lives so she don't get the cash out because I don't know where the fuck her ass is. Yeah, Grandpa feeling regret. And I think my uncle feeling some kind of way. Everybody feeling some kind of way right now, but guess what? Ain't nobody doing shit. UAV in this sector. And then my sister ghosted You're me after she got her damn tax return. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm going to give you this car that you already driving because um, when somebody dies, everything goes in probate. So like the state hold on to every fucking thing, bank accounts, freeze, all that. And I was trying to avoid that for her because she has a job. But she didn't respond. Enemy squad is your position. Target mark. Yeah, I hope he make it. I hope he pull through to at least mark. Yeah, this is some Tyler Perry ass shit. It's a shame. Cause niggas be like, don't stereotype. But you just act like the same fucking stereotype. Speaking about stereotype, I got this uncle. He cool and all, he a lawyer. But he be throwing them degrees around like he know every fucking thing. And this nigga be like, there's no such thing as racism. But then apparently, if that don't apply to white people, some shit. But that nigga's racist. You got some oh, top tier drama over there. Yeah. Dang. That should be making me want to get further. Well done. Wow. Marking your dog tag. Move to resecure it. Contract failed. You lost the objective. It's just like, okay, like, I'm not trying to be like a, a coon or nothing like that. But it's like, you can't just be like, yo, like, stop racism. I'm anti-racist and shit like that. But then we talking shit about people. You can't claim non-racist 
and be racist. Gas is moving. Bro, that shit made me sick, you know. Thanks, bro. He lives in SC and believes there's no such thing as racism. Well, he's from here, but he lives in New York. He a lawyer. But the funny thing is, like, he's retiring, then he coming back down here, but he want to go even more southern. This nigga want to go to Georgia. Nigga, you can't be talk. I'm not gonna say you can't be talking about white people like that in Georgia, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna go to where it's really racist and then talk shit. Good luck, nigga. Yeah, go to Atlanta with that shit. <laughs> shit. Like, nobody wanna hear that shit. I know, right? It's just like, if you gonna stick with that society destroying mindset because like niggas is from like niggas from new york and california ain't all them niggas leaving no he trying to go to savannah nigga savannah you could when you go to savannah you can see the slaves coming out the damn ground the the, the ghosts of the slaves you just you feel that shit like some places you can go down here and you can feel like slavery happen Shit, I, I wouldn't doubt if somebody got hung on a tree Holding around here. Take this time to warm up. All these trees look like hanging trees and shit. <laughs> he got a girlfriend and she got land down here. That's what you say. Yeah, they gonna build a house. That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck wanna live in Savannah? Watch the skies. And he'd be like, the South got more opportunities and shit. Y'all just saying that because y'all don't run the fucking ran up and you let people who are not even fucking from here fuck up every fucking thing. And then now you want to go where people are just anti all of that shit and then fuck it up. Ain't shit in Savannah. Like, and then, oh my God, he called me anti-Asian. And I don't know if you know, my best friend is Asian. I know when people say like, oh, I can't be racist. My best friend is this race. Yeah, that shit sound corny. But I'm saying like, how the fuck am I anti-Asian? I said like, yo, if you go, go in a time machine and you go to World War II Japan, you think they not, you think they not gonna shoot you cause you black? Nigga, you got an American flag on your fucking back. The fuck? Who's looking at race in a time of war? I don't know. That shit just pissed me off, yo. And then he called me anti-Asian. That's crazy. I never heard no shit about, like that in my life. That's the what offended me the most. So like, like you not. This nigga just walk around, just... Oh. You can hear about Mexicans saying white people been moving down to Mexico, raising rent prices. Yes, in Mexico City. They don't want they don't want people there. Not even just white people. It's just Americans in general want to fucking leave. I don't blame them. And that's what I tried to tell him. I was just like, if you don't like it here, then get the fuck out of here. Like, that's the whole beauty of being American. You get the fuck on. But he talking about no. Enemy soldier incoming. And I was like, yo, this ain't your land, though. This is Native American land. So you need to get the fuck on. Getting stitched up. And he was like, they all got wiped out. Genocide. You think them niggas give a fuck? You ain't no Native American. They ain't gonna be like, oh, you black. Down. You could stay. Get the fuck on. If I'm coming to get all my land back, I don't give a fuck if you black or not. Yeah, oh, the cat outside? Yeah, yeah. Anti-Asian, yeah, he definitely been in New York too long. What the fuck is anti-Asian? That's what I said in the text. I said, nigga, you must be from New you, you, I can tell you from New York, nigga. That, with that bullshit. 
trying to label black people anti-Asian. What the fuck? Who the fuck looking for Asian people? I ain't gonna lie. Listening to you makes me so glad I don't talk to my family anymore. I feel you. Because I think that's just how it's gonna be. It just, that's just how it gotta be to keep my peace. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, you over here being a soldier to them niggas, and them niggas not gonna protect your motherfucking ass. And then I said, like, yo, like, they, oh my gosh, they let, they let black people be the, like, the brunt of all this shit. And then when it's over and they got the rights of what black people fought for, they gonna forget black people did anything. Nah, I don't know. I ain't fighting nobody's battles. Fuck that. Let's just team up as Americans. If you want to come here and you want to be uh, paying taxes along with us, fine. But that, that anti-agent shit was a cop-out. And then that nigga said he had two degrees in, um, in well, he said African-American studies or black studies or something. Yo, I, think I could, like, start a YouTube channel right now and just be like, white man bad and I get some money off that. I get monetized saying that shit. And then I can start another channel talking about, oh, like you know how Candace Owens be talking. That's why she got so much damn money. Be like, yo, people just racist. I don't know how to explain it. Like, everybody's pulling the race car. And I won't lie, I thought about going to Russia before this shit popped out. Cause I was trying to learn that shit. And I don't know why I was trying to learn that shit. And next thing you know, that war pop off. I was like, okay, something's trying to tell me. Your squad mates is redeployed. And this nigga well said done. he registered as a, as a Republican. Stitched up. Oh, he he called himself a libertarian, and then he said he anti-gun. And I'm like, so you saying? Oh my God, what the fuck? Your squad mates back on station. Good work. Shit. That means forget what I, the fuck I was gonna say, but basically think of the most SJW motherfucker with degrees and work in law. And then he'd be like, that's the problem. The family knows I'm the most smartest person, uh, the most smartest person in the family when it comes to law, but nobody want to talk to me. Bitch, nobody want to talk to somebody who think they right all the time. Gun, he gonna hate in Georgia. I know that's right. I was like, um, so if somebody was beating your ass and then a white person came to help you, you wouldn't take the help from the white person. This nigga said, nope, because most likely the white person ain't gonna be the one beating me up. I said, all right. But that's my thing. Like, these niggas done raised up all the fucking prices for every fucking thing. And then you gonna go somewhere that you hate because you can't afford to stay there no more. So. But I can't believe he said he was a libertarian. And you know, all this shit, this beef started because I sent like this little meme that said, uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the first um, example of like, uh, white people calling the cops on on black people or some shit like that. And I thought it was funny cause like, we can't even laugh no more. And then this nigga was like, oh, I'm surprised you thought this was funny being a conservative. I was just like, bitch, you had like. And then I was like, maybe I'm more of a nationalist. And he was just like, a nationalist? You mean these people? And sent me pictures of like those Confederate ass niggas. And I, I sent a picture of Adolf Hitler. And I was like, more like this nigga. <laughs> and then that's what popped off the whole conversation. And he was like, I bet you're not gonna get invited to no clan rallies and shit. Something like that. I was like, what the fuck I wanna be in that shit for, nigga? It's like, I don't know. And then all these niggas who got that damn COVID shot got COVID. I ain't never met 
I don't think I met one person that got didn't get that shot that got sick. I don't think I met anybody. You? Yeah, Bean. But they ain't your mom vaccinated? You probably caught that shit. <laughs> that shit probably hop off you. Shit. Enemy dropping into the AO. Yeah, that pick of Adolf was crazy, nigga. That's the real reason he lived in New York, because he might have bread, but New York isn't a place to retire unless you got millions. Yup. I ain't trying to get that damn shot, nigga. They talk about niggas having heart attacks. And then he was calling the shit that I'm talking about. What he said, he said that's trailer park profiting, like tra trailer park preaching and street preaching or some shit. Cause he sent me something saying like Christianity, like a picture of like Christianity and people like missionaries, Christian missionaries in Africa. And they're like basically talking shit about Christians and shit like that. And usually I'm not the type to side with Christians all the time. Like I'm just not like that kind of religious kind of person. But shit been changing since I know like a world about to fucking end and shit. I'm trying to get right, nigga. The fuck? But I was just like, really? I said all of them um, religions enslave black people. That's why we the chosen people, nigga. And then he got Your mad. He was just like, well that's that's terrible part. Something, I don't know. I think I got covered one time, but I just ain't no... Well, I ain't sure. I know I couldn't do though. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, you been smoking shit this game. Shit, I've been getting smoked, nigga. Like, what kind of aim is that? God, no ass, no. I got a dip, but good chat. I hope everything goes peaceful with Grandma. Me too. I probably need to get off in a second. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it. Say bye, Bean. Say goodbye. Have a good one. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit wild. But all in all, I mean, like, February hasn't been what I thought it was gonna be. Like, this year. Like, I thought it was just gonna be mad positive. But I can't really complain. I'm not gonna be stressed out. But peace out, drunk. About time to get off of this shit. Big ass book bag, nigga. I'm a big YouTuber. Hassan Campbell voice. It's like, I don't know. That's so dumb. Like, it's the dumbest shit I heard all, like, the past five years of my life. I think it's maybe the dumbest conversation I ever had in my life. You like you can't beg for equality and then fucking uh preach division. That shit that, it don't work like that. Hostiles deploy the bomb drone. I didn't even read that last text message. I think he said he read a book and he sent that sh that cover the book or something. Enemy soldier incoming.
Peace and chicken grease. I'll catch y'all on the next live. Thanks for dropping by. Put a like on the video. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Peace. And if you want to debate, meet me in the next live. Peace.